Hello fifth graders and welcome to Indian Trail. My name is Mr. Luming. I'm one of the assistant principals here and I am standing in the Indian Trail choir room. Now it doesn't look like much because furniture isn't set up. Right now some of the chairs are spaced out for social distancing in anticipation of students returning. But this is a very special place for me. Prior to becoming the assistant principal here, I was the choir director here for 13 years. So this was my second home and I love it here. I've been in this building for 20 years and I will tell you that Indian Trail is indeed a special place, far different than the other middle schools here. We have wonderful teachers, uh, we have wonderful students and families, and we have a wonderful band and choir director here. And that's what I wanna take a couple minutes to introduce you today. In the next couple days, you guys are going to be asked to make a choice for your encore selection. Two of them are going to be band or choir. And I implore you, I encourage you to get involved in the fine arts. Now you don't necessarily need to know what instrument you want to play today. All we need to know is if you're interested. And Mr. Fleming and Ms. Ms. Beckman are going to tell you a little bit about their programs. Uh, and if you have questions afterwards, feel free to contact Mr. Fleming or Ms. Beckman or myself and we'd be happy to answer them for you. So here's a little bit about the Indian Trail Band and Choir Program. Hello, my name is Mr. Fleming. I'm the band director at Indian Trail Middle School. And I'd like to talk to you about our band program and hope that you choose band as um, one of your encore selections for next year. First off, our band program normally has three main concerts a year. We have a fall concert that is our holiday concert. It normally happens end of November, early December. And we not play a lot of holiday tunes slash winter songs. Um, our winter concert um, normally happens end of February, early March. It normally has traditional festival style band music. So very traditional band music. And then our last concert of the year is a spring pops concert where we do a lot of movie soundtrack movies. So if, it's, if you've heard it um, in movies like the Avengers or Harry Potter um, or Star Wars or music like that. That's the kind of music that we play in the spring. Uh, you also have other uh, performance opportunities throughout the year. Um, we do have uh, three gra uh, grade level bands for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. Sixth graders can be in jazz band. We normally audition for that in October. Uh, Sixth graders can be in jazz band if you already know how to play guitar, bass, drum set, or piano. Um, we do not teach you how to play those instruments, but we bring them together to um, play as a group. If you'd like to play the instrument that you choose for band, then you can do that starting in seventh grade. And the last performing opportunity you have for us is solo and ensemble contest. That will be hap happening in February. And it is an opportunity for to showcase your individual talent for a judge or to perform with several friends for a judge. You will see some instrument demonstrations performed by some Plainfield Central High School um, band students demonstrating the different instrument options you have for band.
All right, hope you guys have a good day. Now um, we are going to be doing a performance of our sixth grade band for next year, doing a song from our holiday concert called The Kwanzaa, The Lights Are Shining. This is last year's sixth grade band, so for the seventh graders. Here are your band instrument options. You can choose flute, oboe, clarinet, alto saxophone, trumpet, French horn, trombone, baritone, tuba, or percussion. Um, sometime, whether either at later this school year or um, over the summer, we will be having a instrument selection opportunity, whether it be in person, if we can do that, or whether it be virtual. So you'll have an opportunity to get a little bit more information to help make that decision. Reminder, this is a concert band, meaning we play these instruments. We are not a rock band. So guitars are not in the concert band, but if you do already know how to play, you can do that in jazz band. Um, that's information I've got about band for now. I hope to see you next year, and thank you very much. Hello. My name is Josephine Beckman, and I'm the choir director at Indian Trail Middle School. I have been teaching at Indian Trail for the past five years and have been in the district for 20 years. Today, I'm going to be talk to, talking to you about the Indian Trail Choir program. A little bit about our program is that we have three main concerts, curricular concerts, a year. We have our fall concert which is our holiday concert. And that usually falls usually sometime in the end of November, beginning of December. Our winter concert, which usually falls in March, and that is festival music slash traditional choir music. And then in May, we have our pops concert, which is usually music that you hear on the radio. We also have several other performances throughout the year, depending on the need. Our various performance groups include our sixth, seventh, and eighth grade choirs. Those are our curricular choirs that meet during the school day. We also have a seventh and eighth grade audition group called SCOLA. And if your student is interested in auditioning for SCOLA, that happens at the end of their sixth grade year. And information will be passed along to the students at the end of the at the end of their sixth grade year. We also have are all grades volunteer groups. We have IT Harmony and the Harmonizers. IT Harmony is our girls group and the Harmonizers is our guys group. And they usually meet for only the spring concert due to my schedule. We also have an all grade opportunity of our IT productions, which is our musical. Mrs. Bo is the director of the show. And if your student is interested in being involved in the theater program, they can reach out to her. I do have an example of what our choir sounds like. I have a video of one of our pieces from last year called I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. This is from our sixth grade choir at our 2019 holiday concert. My name is Sawyer Samarco, I am in 7th grade, and I went to Lakewood Falls Elementary School. I joined choir because I love to sing, and I also really like to meet new people. 
a really good memory I have is when you do the warm-ups because we got to do our own thing and make dances while we were doing them. You should join choir because if you're not very good with singing in front of other people or if you don't feel comfort comfortable singing with other people and you just like to sing by yourself, choir's a really good way to cope with that because I used to never be able to sing by myself. I used to never be able to do that. So this really helped me through my singing and it's really fun. It's, I'm so glad I joined. I hope you consider joining too. I encourage you to join choir because it is the one time you have to take the shot that you want for your musical talent. Uh, something I would say to an incoming sixth grader is this is where you're going to make a lot of memories, make a lot of friends, and it's also a really enjoyable time. Like, the period you have for choir each day, you actually look forward to it. Um, one of my favorite memories from choir, last mm. year and every, like, year we go to a special field trip and i went to mary poppins we saw the show we ate rainforest cafe it was extremely extremely fun and for all you sixth graders that are gonna become sixth graders um just good luck and i think you guys should join choir because you will enjoy it make great memories and i know you guys will have an a blast because i obviously do and just good luck to the Incoming I'm middle Kim school. And I'm Emma DeGrado. We're both in seventh grade. In the elementary school we attended was Central. The reason why we joined choir in the first place is because we both like to sing. And we thought it'd be really fun. Our favorite memories are the ones that we're all in class together. I think a sixth grader should join is because it's super fun and you meet a bunch of new friends. I think you should join because Miss um, Beckman is really nice and it's a fun experience. Hi, my name is Sydney Jackson. I'm an eighth grader at Indian Trail and I went to Riverview Elementary School. I joined choir because I've always been really into music and I thought it would just be something fun to try. My favorite choir memory is definitely from sixth grade and we went downtown Chicago to see Blue Man Group live and then we also went shopping at Navy Pier and I got to spend a lot of time with friends and it was just a really good time. Um, I definitely think you should join choir because you get to learn a lot of new things and meet new people. If you have any questions about joining band or choir, please feel free to email Mr. Fleming or myself. Our email addresses are included on this slide deck. You can also, you can also find our information on the Indian Trail website. Thank you for your time and we hope to see your students next year. Have a great day. We hope today's information encourages you to choose band or choir as one or both of your encore selections. If you have questions about a particular instrument, I encourage you to go online with your parent permission, go on YouTube, look up performances of professional artists that play that particular instrument. This is where your musical experience begins and the possibilities from here are endless for both band and choir. And as I said before, getting involved in band and choir changed my entire life. If you have any questions, please email Mr. Fleming or Ms. Beckman as pictured before, or call the main office and I will be glad to speak with you and try to answer any questions that you might have. I hope this finds you and your families safe and healthy, and we look forward to seeing you all in the fall of 2021. Take care, future Wildcats. We'll see you soon.